it was a little spicy but nothing that i didn't want let me show you how i make my favorite snack meal whatever you want to call it um dumplings they're amazing if you make these please let me know how they are for you they're so easy to make and they're so good they're filling and you know they just give what you want it to give okay the bag i get from the grocery store you can get it from publix kroger um walmart the korean style mini long tons they're chicken and vegetable dumplings they're actually this size like bite size so when i like to cook them i like to make sure my ingredients are all like cut up and made before i actually put the wontons in the pan and it just makes sure that i'm ready so that's what i'm gonna do so enjoy Next, we're gonna take a large saute pan and we're gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on not quite medium, a little bit past. We're gonna take our oil and we're gonna drizzle it. I like to do a couple swirls, not a lot of oil like that and then once when I like move the pan around and it gets all like watery sort of that's when I know it's ready for the dumplings all right it's been a couple minutes you see how it's like watery and easy really easy to like you know, move around that's how you want it so now since it's hot we are gonna put the dumplings in And I try to like separate them. I usually use like 12, but. So while this is happening, I like to take like a fourth a cup of water and just throw it in here. I lied, you're gonna need a little bit more. Throw it in there. I'm gonna take a lid, put it on top, and it's gonna stay like this without opening the lid for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna put this on 10 minutes. Hopefully I did this right. Yup, 10 minutes. See, it's already sizzling. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, so it's not exactly 10 minutes yet, but as you can hear it, it's kind of like popping. And like the water has dried up a little bit. So it's at a minute 41, which is good timing still. Um, yeah, so at this point, I'm going to a little bit, I like them to be toasted. Okay, we're going to turn this off, take this out. We're gonna take our clean bowl and we're gonna take these out, put them in the bowl. Oh, they're perfect, honestly. So I brought the bowl of dumplings over to the ingredients table where we have the cilantro, chopped onions, we have pepper, we have garlic powder. We have crushed red pepper, parsley, literally just for looks, cinnamon, yes ma'am, 
And then uh, we have agave, we have soy sauce, and we're just gonna put a dab of tea, Texas peat. the finished product um i definitely made too many onions but you know what this is still like i will inhale this don't get me wrong it will still get eight you feel me so yeah thank you for letting me show you how i make my favorite snack meal whatever you want to call it um dumplings they're amazing if you make these please let me know how they are for you they're so easy to make and they're so good they're filling and you know they just give what you want it to give okay and honestly i literally got my nails done today just for this video because they were looking crazy i'll insert a picture but yeah thank you for letting me show you how i make my dumplings they're so good for no reason like literally for no reason i'll show you how i eat them you gotta get you gotta you gotta get a little this is like the perfect bite right here so amazing <laughs> it's a little spicy but nothing that i didn't want so thank y'all for watching um please like comment and subscribe if you want